Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. He lost his sight 12 years ago when he was involved in a motor accident. Ignisho Sanle Sawe, after struggling to get a job for close to seven years, ventured into poultry farming with the support of his family and friends. Tanko Mohamed Rabiu has the rest of the story. Ignacio Sanli Sawe was employed by the cotton company in 1987 after completing the Tamale Technical Institute, now Tamale Technical University. In the year 2000, the company suffered some financial crisis and he lost his job in the process. After applying for several jobs without any success, he ventured into poultry farming in 2014 with the support from some few friends. Ignacio later got some financial support from some NGOs. Currently, he has 1,500 beds, including layers, broilers, and guinea fowls. Ignatius has employed one person to assist him in the poultry business. His two daughters also assist him. Proceeds from his farm are used to cater for the needs of the family. Ignatius encouraged persons with physical disabilities to venture into vocational training and farming instead of begging. So my colleagues standing by the road, and sitting advantage points with calabashes and bulls begging for arm, I think that is not sufficient. You, it is not sustainable. You can't do this for long. Try also secure a job. Get something doing. Engage yourself. A more decent job, something that is not demeaning. And I think that uh, if it is about your basic needs, you can make it. One of his children intends to take over the poultry farming in future. Anytime I come from school and he's in the farm, I always help him, I always enter him, give them food and water. Sometimes I collect their eggs. I want to be a doctor, but if I don't get to be a doctor, I'll be a poultry farmer. Meanwhile, the district chief executive for Talency, Dr. Christopher Watibil, has assured persons with physical disabilities of the assembly support through the 3% Disability Common Fund. He said more than 500 persons with disability have so far benefited from the fund. Every disabled person who brings his proposal and some amounts of money have been approved. What we do is that we assemble them and we give them checks. And they go personally to the banks or the people who bring them, send them to the banks to take the money. We are trying to you know, avoid the situation where a disabled person comes and a, an officer tells him or her that we don't have change to give you and because of that, a, B, C, D, we are giving you less the amount. And so now the people are happy. That's all for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time. We have more news coming up shortly. Do stay with us.